Welcome to the HB Gary video series. My name is Rich Cummings and I'm the CTO at HB Gary. During the next couple minutes, my goal is to show how to use active defense to easily determine how many machines are compromised in your environment after you first discover one initial compromise. Today is video three titled Determining Scope of Breach Across the Enterprise with Active Defense. Let's get started. Before we begin, let's first recap what I found in video one. Digital DNA pointed us to a machine with a score of 53.4. Anything over 30 needs to be investigated. When we pulled back the code from the physical memory snapshot, we were able to see inside the strings. We found an IP address, file names and paths on disk, and registry keys. This thread Intel will use later to determine scope of breach. Next, I'll create scan policies using the breach indicators we just found, and these will help me find other compromised machines. When I'm given an IP address or URL, I create a scan policy to search the fismem.module on the remote machines. And in our case, um, we found an IP address inside the malware, so one one of the best scan policies would be to search all of the physical memory across the enterprise looking for this IP address. I'll save it. And then we'll let the machines um, perform this job. And then I'll create some other scan policies. The next scan policy will search the raw physical disk in a forensically sound fashion. And we will search for the file name we found inside the strings of the malware, start MGR32. In this process, the digital DNA agent has access to the raw physical disk and parses the drive sectors to locate the master file table, which it then parses so that we search all allocated files, including deleted files too. This approach is successful at locating files on disk normally hidden by rootkits. So I'll save the scan and we'll let it run. Then we'll view the results. And I knew one machine was compromised with the file star manager 32 on disk, but now we can see we've got one new machine. So we'll have to investigate that machine further. And we have time for one more uh, search. And I'm going to search across all machines in the enterprise, uh, the registry for a startup routine for the malware. And so I'm gonna search live OS registry, value name contains start manager 32. And uh, I'll save the scan and let it run. And these are lightning quick, generally 20 seconds per machine so you can scan literally tens of thousands in less than an hour. And the results, I've got one machine infected. And with that, I've now shown you how easy and quick it is to use Active Defense to determine scope of breach across your network. This is the last video in a three-part Active Defense video series. I hope the videos were helpful. And if you would like more information about Active Defense, a more in-depth demonstration, or an evaluation of active defense, please contact sales at hbgary.com. Thanks for watching.